Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to connect this, an Android mobile phone, using this, a wired Ethernet connection. Let's dive in and check it out. First of all, I'm using a phone with a USB-C charging port. This port can also be used for data connections, um, screen sharing, a number of different things. You can get a lot of different dongles and adapters. One of the adapters that I have is actually a StarTech.com Ethernet adapter. This is actually the same Ethernet adapter that I use with my MacBook Pro. Um, you're just going to take this thing, plug it into the phone, and ensure that, uh, at least on this model, there's a little blue light that comes on that indicates the thing does have power. From there, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Take the Ethernet cable, plug it into the adapter. You'll notice the link lights come on and indicate connectivity. You'll also see on the screen a uh, Ethernet port uh, in the top notification bar. And when there's data passing over this connection in the upper right, you'll also see an Ethernet port with the up and down arrows indicating traffic on the link. Now, if we pull down notifications, we can see the Ethernet cable connected option. Uh, Ethernet, there's a toggle there. Uh, you can configure the Ethernet device. It is uh, unfortunately very simple, uh, just simply DHCP or static IP address information. We'll jump back to uh, DHCP, of course. Um, to get a little bit deeper look at the settings, what I like to do is open up a terminal emulator, which is always a great tool to have on your Linux-based phone. You can type in ifconfig, which returns standard formatted Linux interface information and uh, look for ETH0, standard, again, Linux uh, interface designations, and you'll see the IP address, broadcast address, uh, subnet mask, and so forth. That's it. You now have a wired Ethernet connection on your phone. So you may be wondering, why on earth would I do this? That's a really good question. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments section. Uh, personally, I use it for discovery. Uh, there's a couple discovery applications I have. If you've rooted your phone, you could install a packet capture application. You could install an application like iPerf for checking, you know, uh, throughput and so forth. Um, the sky's the limit. If there's an app for it that uses connectivity, a uh, wired option might not be a bad idea. So anyhow, leave your comments, tips, tricks, whatever in the comments section. And I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you back sometime soon.